Ladies and gentlemen, it is frequently <coughs> repeated statement that the Baltic Sea is the most polluted sea of the European Union and one of the most polluted in the world. It is true, and it is both the challenge and opportunity. The challenge is for all relevant stakeholders to combine efforts in order to get right of this doubtfully honorable leadership and the opportunity to show that we, the countries united by the Baltic Sea, can cooperate and bring into life effective and innovative solutions. As it regards the area I represent, the Lithuanian local authorities, it can be said that many is already done, a lot is being done, and no less remain to be finished before the task of having clean and absolutely friendly sea will be achieved. If looking narrowly, Lithuania is perhaps the least Baltic country among the Baltic uh, Sea countries. We have only about 100 kilometers of Baltic coast. Only four out of 60 Lithuanian municipalities and one out of 10 regions are directly bordering the sea. On the other hand, we are all Lithuanian actors perceiving the common challenges for the region very seriously, and the topic of this panel is one of the key areas of our concern. Of course, we cannot do much in dealing with the chemical weapons or industrial waste buried under the sea. On the other hand, the local authorities of region are the key actors in assuring that little or no new waste will reach the CO8 basin, Less waste uh, is released into the year round, as well as people would become more aware about the challenges we are facing. Let me in a few sentences explain how today Lithuanian local authorities are involved in this implementation of Baltic Sea strategy measures. Municipalities are in charge of waste management, air quality issues, heat supply, water supply, territorial planning, local transportation, large share of agriculture, healthcare sectors. They are implementing various measures in the fields of public transportation, communication and energy infrastructure, energy efficiency and public communication, waste sorting, just to mean a few, uh, mention a few. Municipalities are also developing programs for air pollution reduction, environmental monitoring, and special plans for district heating sector. Lithuania is involved in seven European cross-border and interregional cooperation, CBC programs. All of them include environmental protection as one of their priorities. Currently, having de facto finished the period of 2007-2013, I can proudly say that uh, Lithuanian applicants, be it municipalities, municipal establishments or other local players, we are very active in the field of environment. About one third of all projects approved had environmental elements. This can be uh, applied both for the internal EU CBC programs, like Lithuania Latvia or Lithuania Poland, as well as the external ones, like Lithuania Poland Kaliningrad or Latvia Lithuania Belarus. Already both EU mainstream and CBC programs have contributed to the general improvement of eco footprint, starting from building of urban wastewater cleaning facilities, river basin and seawater monitoring programs, CO2 emissions reduction, just to name a few, both in EU and in our immediate neighborhood. In this context, local authorities are usually the key organizers and promoters of particular project ideas and particular needs to be addressed. Therefore, it is the key importance to assure its role in the new financial perspective, as well as adequate funding for their initiatives, of course, under the general guidelines of the European Union strategy of Baltic Sea region. However, we shall not narrow the understanding of the Baltic Sea region down to the maritime issues. The strategy covers multiple areas and even the sustainable environment is a very wide and challenging area. One of the key issues here is to contribute to the pan-EU goals of greenhouse gas emissions. Lithuania, 
may not have set so ambitious goals as Sweden in this field. Nevertheless, we have uh, set quite highly ambitious goals in the field of energy, on energy, for example, to increase the share of renewable energy sources up to 23% by 2020, while the energy efficiency is to increase annually by 1.5%. And of course, the local authorities are among the key actors in the promoting energy efficiency. Firstly, of all in municipal buildings. For example, here in my country, and the recent energy efficiency initiative, it is the local authorities who are taking responsibility on renovation and energy efficiency of multi-apartment houses. This way, municipalities are contributing not only to energy efficiency, but also to national security goals by minimizing the need for costly imports from unpredictable suppliers. Furthermore, we can proudly say that our local authorities are, in the, most active, uh, are the most active participants of the pan-European energy efficiency initiatives like Convent of Mayors. Starting from 2008, already one quarter of Lithuanian municipalities have signed up for the EU initiative aiming to join local authorities' efforts in reducing CO2 emissions. As you see already, several examples of Lithuanian municipal activities show how high importance is paid to the environmental challenges and contribution to respective EU strategy for the Baltic Sea region by Lithuanian local authorities. Taking into consideration high interest, large number of stakeholders, and even larger one, of the ideas as well as financial constraints, the task of coordinating the efforts and prevention of unnecessary repetitions and duplications became a paramount. Ecological solutions may look expensive from the first sight. However, in the long-term perspective, they appear to be highly beneficial both for the business and for the society. For business, it usually means innovations resulting in an increased competitiveness and opening of the new market uh, niches. Further to that, increased implication, application of innovations is the goal for the which Lithuania is aiming. This is the key topic, which shall be taken into consideration when planning programs for the next financial perspective, to assure that the key areas will be addressed first, the financial support will be concentrated and most effectively used, and the role of the local authorities and regions as the centers of exercise on particular needs and knowledge of already achieved shall be strengthened up to the maximum. Thank you for your attention.